It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got a special episode for you here today. Some of you guys out there have seen me review Sour Beer. This is by Tanker. It's their Red Rain Black Currant Sour Ale. It's coming in at 7% ABV. It's a Flanders style red ale, which should be some of the most sour beers out there. This beer is from Estonia. Um, very kind for the brewery to send me the beer. And can some of you remember, I did a video recently with the chili sweets and I was like rolling it around my mouth and all of a sudden it kind of like, ah, I was in agony, I went down the wrong way. Well, Barnett's, the company who make the sweets, really liked that episode and they sent me some mega sour fruits. I've had a look at a couple of videos on YouTube and there's grown adults struggling with the sourness of these sweets. There's, they're probably one of the sour, if not the sourest sweets in the UK. So naturally, I'm going to pit the sour beer against the sour sweets and see what comes out on top. Roll my sleeves up. Right, okay, without further ado, I love a Flanders style red ale. Um, it's a Bel Belgian style beer. So it's a beer that's been aged on black currants. I can already smell the funkiness of the beer. Have a look at the colour. <laughs> My goodness me. So I'm going to wash the, the beer around, it's probably bottle conditioned. Have a listen to the fizz. A really good sour beer, the head dissipates very quickly. You can see the black currant fruit in the beer. Good levels of carbonation. I can smell the funkiness from the here, the sourness from here. This is going to be really, really sour. Asking me at this stage what will win, what will be the most sour, it's only my personal opinion. Some of these beers can be mega sour. I cannot believe something can be more sour than a beer, than a Flanders Red or, or a... Yeah, let's, let's just stop talking. Aroma. The sourness on the beer is hitting, the, hitting my eyeballs and I can just feel, I'm, I'm breathing it in. I can smell balsamic vinegar. I definitely smell the black currant. I can smell the tannings from the fruit. A slight kind of leathery tannery kind of aroma. Funky, it smells amazing. 7% ABV. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's sour. Oh, that's making the inside of my nose kind of... And my eyes. That is proper sour. Proper, proper sour. I love sour beer. I predicted 2015, 2016, the sour beer would be the next big thing. Hasn't quite happened, but there's a lot of people who are brewing sour beer now. The problem with sour beer is that it takes so long to brew. Um, I was in Belgium 2015, and I was at a Flanders brewery, and they were telling me that the, the beer, it takes like, it takes like three years, two to three years to, to, to properly get that sourness through. What happens, I will be quick, I will be brief. The beer actually goes off first. So they leave the beer in the fermenter, it goes off. It's undrinkable. Something happens to the beer then. I'm not a technical, I'm not a technical brewer, so please um, bear with me. Something happens in the process. Um, what happened was, years ago, at a brewery, this is how this kind of sour beer kind of thing come about. 
the beer went off, they left it in barrels, and they were like, we don't want to throw it away, we'll just leave it in the corner. And they left it in the corner for a number of years. And what happens is chemical process happened to the beer over the years, and the sourness kept on ramping up. Ramping, 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 ramping. So every year, every six months that passed by, the beer would become naturally more sour. And then, of course, the Belgians, they added fruit and, and um, raspberries and you know, the lambics are terrific. Cherry lambics and these Flanders red ales with the fruit are, are, are just amazingly sour. A raspberry raspberry lambic i think one of the sourest beers i've had cherry cherry lambics are for me one of the sourest beers i've had but this sour ale by tanker um a total heartbreaker red rain is a mixed fermentation flanders style sour red ale maturated for months on local black currants Crazy sour, lots of blackcurrant flavour, lots of carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's incredibly drinkable, it's got a lovely mouth feel. That's the beer. Now Barnett's, I've always talked about it when I've done beer reviews. I always talk about sour sweets. I've not had a sour sweet in years. This is a mega sour fruit from Barnett's. I like red. Red beer, red sweet, sugar, yeah, let's just dive in. <coughs> Holy! Mmm! There's a difference out... That's a different sourness. Oh. Hmm. Okay, it's gone. It's not gone. It's still there. <laughs> the worst part is over. <clears throat> so they coated this sweet with something. It's a bit like the beer, to be honest. It's all to do with your palate. Your palate adjusts to the sourness. If I was to eat this, eat this whole bag, that was sourness in a flash. But my teeth had got like this. It's like it'd been coated in acid or something. That was a real quick flash of sourness, really quick. It's left this kind of like, it's left my tongue feeling. A bit weird. Now the beer, the beer's left no, like it's, these sweets have feel like I've had something coated on my mouth. There's something, something being removed. It's like it cleaned my teeth properly. If, if it cleaned these old brown teeth. Um, it feels like they, the sweets have cleaned the inside of my mouth. The acid, the, the, the sourness was, for me, 10 seconds. Bang, bang, bang. And I could already feel it coming down. They coated it with something. Let's have a read. Not suitable for children under the age of eight. Watch out, these sweets have an extremely sour coating which lasts approximately 20 seconds. They're about right, 20, 10, 20 seconds, that's about right. Um, excessive consumption within a brief time period may cause temporary mouth and or stomach irritation. Um, Glucose, citric acid, malic acid, bicarbonate of soda, bicarbonate of soda, flavorings, 
colors, loads of E-numbers. Um, proper sour. Proper sour sweets. Now, let me remove that for a minute. That's just a sweet now. It's just become a sweet. I'm gonna place it down on the plastic bag. I'm gonna get back into the sour beer. Oh blimey. It's a different sourness, it's a different... It's a balsamic kind of fruit sourness. More of a, it's funky, it's horse blankety. I'm going to be perfectly honest, it's a much more pleasant sourness in the beer. Much more. It is a reason why people drink sour beer and they carry on drinking sour beer. Um, once you get used to the sourness, it's an exciting sourness. It's, it's a wow! I've just had a million things go on in my brain sourness. Whereas the mega fruit, the mega sour fruits, It's meant to cause a reaction. It's meant to cause a, a, a reaction, a stir. Um, these companies know how to make viral or, or make things go viral on the internet, yeah? So they've been specifically designed. I bet these sweets are about 5% of Barnett Sweets whole sales. I bet normally they sell a lot of kind of lovely regular candy. This is. This is a really nice sweet on its own. It's a really nice sweet. It's just they found this kind of like this traction, this this viralness on the internet to help propel their business, which if I owned Barnett's, I would do exactly the same thing. It's a good bit of fun. That's where I'll put it. It's a good bit of fun. But blimey. So is this. That's a really good example of a sour beer. Maturated on black currants, that means the, the it's added, they put this beer in a massive vat and then they've added a load of black currants to the vat and you really get the black currant. It's a beautiful, it's like a black currant juice with the sourness. Is it, the question is, is it more sour than the mega sour sweets? Well, what happens with beers like this is that I'm talking normal now because, because your palate adjusts very quickly to sour beer. That is amazing. Amazing. Um, Somehow they're two different sourness. They're, they're two extreme. The beer is very pleasant. I love the sensations, the signals that it sends into my brain from the beer. Um, I just felt like I was being attacked by the sweets. I was like, I was like, ah, oh God, it's, it's like it's like a ah, battery acid or something in my mouth, and it left this like my teeth have been cleaned or something. As I mentioned before, these sweets. I'm gonna say it's very difficult to choose a winner because they're both going at it in different ways. This beer is a natural fermented kind of sour beer. It's it's a beer that has taken a long time to produce, years to produce, and it, and then they they've taken. I mean, of course, they've taken care of the sweets. Of course, it's just. It's a different way of an, it's a different approach to sourness. On this occasion, I'm gonna say beer. On this occasion, it's a, it's a much more pleasant sourness. Um, so the beer wins, the beer wins. But the sweets were a good bit of fun, a real good bit of fun. I'm gonna rate the beer, as I always do. Uh, Tanker Brewery, Estonia. Thanks for sending me the beer. This is tremendous. This, I mean, this is just an absolutely sensational beer. Really sensational beer. Um, two 
Kombucha Producer Tanker Brewery, Blackcurrant Sour Ale, sour ale 5 IBU, 7% ABV. For me, that's a 10 out of 10. That's a standout beer, 10 out of 10. The sweet, good bit of fun. I'm gonna pop it back in my mouth. There's all sorts of kind of like, I think there's a fizzy middle as well. Oh, crazy. I mean, they know what they're doing. They put stomach irritation on the on the pack there, so they know what they're up to. Good bit of fun. Good bit of fun. Uh, the sweets. I've never really rated a sweet before. Something I might ask my wife to do or my mother-in-law. They love sweets. Um, holy crap! Oh. oh, look, it's doing something. It's doing something else to me now. Sending out like um, that weird fizzy poppy sugar stuff in my mouth. That's bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. More sourness. There we are, that's all gone now as well. So it's, that was the bicarbonate of soda. That was the bicarbonate of soda doing that. Yeah, look at that. Right. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.